Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Blackwell Deception. All right, let's uh, let's head to the Highline Park and see if uh, Jeremy has made it there. Oh, Jeremy's home is no longer listed anymore. Guess uh, we've gotten everything that we can from there. Uh, hi, Jeremy. Guess what? Jeremy. I was here. This is me. Yeah. I was standing right there. Then I heard a pop, and then. Someone opened champagne? Then I was calling you with a phone that couldn't exist. Somehow, I just knew you were the one who could help me. Like I said, it's what we do. Could you tell us who you were meeting here? I was meeting a man named Gavin. Lisa arranged it. I've heard stories. Gavin McCloud! around him. They destroy their lives, sometimes even die. That sounds die like Gavin McCloud. like I died. Jeremy, I'm so sorry. No, no, it's okay. I don't know why. But I feel good. Relieved, even. You'll find him, won't you? You can take over? Oh, yes. You'll find him, Jeremy. This won't happen to anybody else. Thank you. I'm ready. Well, um, I guess I need to switch to, uh, Joey. Alright, take hold of the tie. Jeremy, it's time. Whoop. Ow. Right on the pavement. She's got to get a lot of burns this sliding is along that. Incredible. All yeah, this just time, white I never imagined. This is your life now. Yeah, kind of. This is my life now. Not quite the village eye, is it? Beats writing book reviews. That's true. Maybe. Um, so I guess I should just... Yeah, the light. Just go through it? Just go through it. Well, he's gone. Ah, you Glad okay? I didn't break my glasses. Sure. Nothing an entire bottle of wine won't fix. Well, you know wine! what they say. Bacchus knows best. Yeah, that he does. Uh, I like Dionysus better. Um, secret. Maybe we can talk to the old bat again. Common room. Oh, lady! Mrs. Haynes. Oh, it's you. Yes, it is. Well, thanks for- Oh, it's- Damn it! Um, no. I'll wait. <sighs> what is it? What do I do? What happens if I stay where I am? That's what I thought. Don't mind us. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Don't mind us. We're just, you know, coming in and out. Now let's head back to Lisa. Maybe Buzz? Ding dong! Hi, it's me again. Oh, hello. Do come in. Glad you recognized my voice through that crappy uh, intercom system. Please, sit. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. Ah, Jeremy's Lisa, phone. Lisa, I found Jeremy's phone. It was outside, in the trash. It's a public street. So he was here. He might have been outside. I cannot say. Cannot? Or will not? I think you're lying. I know you spoke to Jeremy, Lisa. Why are you lying to me? Lying? What makes you think that? Because I spoke with Jeremy. Jeremy told me. Yeah. Didn't you tell me he was dead? Yeah. Whatever he told you, it's not true. I never spoke to anyone named Jeremy. I think this interview is at an end. It's very clear that I will be unable to help you. Your mind is closed off. You aren't seeking help. You only want to destroy. What? No, I, I only want to... Your very presence is damaging the aura of peace I spent years trying to create. Good. I insist that you Makes leave. Makes me happy. And I also insist you give up this line of inquiry. Oh. Give up? Insist an all you want. Not for me. Nevertheless. My friend came to see you, and then he was killed. You can either help me, or you can get in my way. But one way or another, I'm gonna find out what happened. I'll be in touch. Oh, I will so be in touch. Smooth exit. Whatever. Let's just get out of here. 
No, wait, wait, Joey, Joey, I want Joey to go back in. Damn it. Not bad for a night's work. I guess. Mm, I don't we know. We still that. don't know how or why Jeremy was killed. That's not really our problem, is it? Yes, it is. Maybe. It's just kind of personal this time. Yep. Yeah, I get it. Look, you get some sleep. You might feel different tomorrow. Something yeah, I don't you're think right. So. It's been a long night. And I need to shower after that Joey. garbage can. Yeah? The Wait, old man at the Dave. nursing home. Who is he? Tell me, Joey. Get some sleep, Red. No! Tell me. Breaking news! It's so shiny! Was revealed to be Jeremy Sams, a reporter at the City Post newspaper. No suspect is in custody yet. The police issued a statement to say that their investigations are continuing and advise everyone to avoid the High Line after dark. Don't think that would make much difference. Don't think it was a random killing. All right, Joey. Got a sec? What is it this time? All right, let's get out of here. F okay. That's all for Yeah. Uh, well, we still have the press pass. We still have the notebook. We don't have the other items. Do we have any new email? Still have Sam Durkin on our phone? Oh. Oh, Nishanti. Hello from Jaipur. This trip has been wonderful, but I'm really looking forward to heading home. I'm not the world traveler I used to be, it seems. And I'm sure poor Mo M Moti is raising hell at the kennel. Either way, I want to check in. We'll have dinner when I get back. Oh, that's nice. Can we call Sam? Darkin. Hi, it's me again. Uh-huh. I found Jeremy's phone outside of a psychic's office. You did, huh? Where is it? I've got it with me. Hello? You found potential evidence and removed it from the scene? Yes. Uh, forget it. It's just junk now. Uh, I, I think it's not junk. You could, like, check his phone for calls and texts and stuff. I was just checking in. Any word on Jeremy's murder? Nothing yet. We're working on it. You got anything for us? Mm, nothing other than his phone. I don't have anything else for you. Or morning or day, as the case may be. Well, I can't check the phone because the phone—I mean, the the clock because the clock is broken. I can't think of any. Well, um. I don't have time, and if I need to use the. I guess we'll go out. I don't know. What else is there to do? That's just morbid. <laughs> All right, I guess there's uh, nothing for us to do here. Uh, go to Seagram. Talk to our old lady friend. Oh, our cleaning thing is gone. Common room. Oh, she's not here. Nothing over this way, huh? Nope. She left her cards on the table. Um, no. We are alone. Can we go up to the 12th floor? Locked. You could knock. Oh. Chart's back now. Hi again. Hello. Thanks for the help. Have a good <laughs> Okay. Good conversation, everyone. Good conversation. Uh, I guess we go back to Lisa. No, wait. No, no, no. Uh, actually, let's not use the buzzer. Dang it. Sorry. I'm not seeing clients tonight. Hi. Lisa? Hello? Well, that was rude. <laughs> All right, Joey. Uh, there's nothing to do there, it looks like. Anything over here? Ooh, a photo. She's staring at that photograph. Couldn't talk to her even if I wanted to. How do you know? 
I'm not gonna waste my breath on her. Oh, all right. Is that... Danny? Is that you? That is someone he recognizes, apparently. Alone? I don't know. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Uh... Taylor... I don't know. Taylor? In? Fine Taylor? Oh, fine tailoring. Okay. How the hell did Lisa get this? How the hell did... There's nothing else to look at. Fine tailoring, huh? Couldn't talk to her. Now can I go upstairs? Probably not. Ah, too far away from... All right, well, let's, uh... I guess we'll just leave at this point. Um... Nothing else to do. So, Danny, She huh? knows him. That phony knows him. Knows who? The old guy? Danny Marconi, that's who. Who is Danny Marconi? <sighs> Tell me! Remember that old guy in the nursing home? Yes. She's mooning over a picture of him. I don't like where this is going. Not one bit. So who is this Danny Marconi guy? That That's not what I wanted. I got something to say. Alright. What? What an eyesore this place is. <laughs> I know. And we passed three empty storefronts just walking here. Joints are shutting down all over the city, but this place stays open. I guess people just like being suckered. I don't think New York is in that bad shape. What an I know joints are I guess that's about it. Alright, check the notes. You sure about tracking this guy Gavin down? Yes. Yes, Joey, I'm sure. We're the only ones who know he even exists. Well, there's a few other people, but I guess the point is is uh, in terms of Jeremy Sam. So how well did you know that Jeremy kid anyway? Not that well, really. I, I wonder why he reached out to me. You're the only one he can reach out to. Maybe some- Maybe. I think we did that a one already. park on old train tracks? This is what people make these days? It's an elevated train line, Joey. I think the view's quite nice. Maybe we'll visit it again when someone isn't dead. Eh, maybe. Maybe. All right, let's- Sure. Got a sec? What is it? Tell me more. Legit psychic or not, that neon sign is so tacky. Very. Says the girl with the lava lamp in her bedroom. Hey! What's wrong with lava lamps? If you have to ask the question, you already know the answer. Uh, I don't think it works that way, Joey. Besides, the lava lamp isn't exactly, uh, uh, on a storefront like that. Legit psychic or not, that's so what's wrong. If you. Do you think Gavin has killed anyone else besides Jeremy? We already know he brainwashes old ladies. Who knows what else a guy like that is capable of? That's fair. The High Line is a park that just opened a few months ago. I've always meant to go over there. New parks going up, old buildings going down. This city changes so fast it's hard to keep track. Oh, you're just getting old. So what's your take on Jeremy? My take? He seems like a nice enough kid. Keeps his cards close to his chest, though. What do you mean? You know spooks, sweetheart. They make no sense half the time. It's like their minds have snapped. They try so hard to deny their own death that they can't think straight. But you're Jeremy? He's a sharp one. Completely lucid. You're right. It was easy to forget that he was dead. It was like we were having a real conversation. Well, you know, yeah, other than being able to see through. that's what worries me. Goes against the rules, such as they are. And his mind was pretty fuzzy. That's all for now. Yeah. All right, maybe uh, if we go back to uh, the secret place. Don't mind us. Don't mind us. No. Nope. Still not uh, there. No. Twelfth floor. Hmm, I 
can't go back to the uh, the paper. Uh, there's nothing here. Guess we'll go home. Got a sec? What's going on? All right, let's get out of here. After. It's not quite what I meant. Um. Well, let's try planning so our next move. So what do you move. think? I think that Lisa Tenzin was throwing us a line. She's had some time to stew. Let's shake her and see what falls out. Oh, all right. That's all for now. Yeah. I kind of figured that she'd uh, just keep refusing to uh, say it, let us in. All right, back to the buzzer. I suppose I should have tried that. Oh well. Sorry, I'm not seeing clients tonight. Danny Marconi. Do you know a Danny Marconi? What about him? Let me in and I'll let tell you. Let me in and I'll tell you. Damn it! Sorry, I'm not seeing clients. Today. Oh, yes, you are. Wait. Hello? Damn it. Sorry, I'm. Don't, Don't go, go away. anywhere, Lisa. I need to talk to you. Hello? Damn it. All right, that doesn't work. Sorry. Um. Why not? not? It's personal. Please come back tomorrow. Hello? Personal schmersonal. It's me again. Hello? No damn it there? Sorry. Alright. Look, you've Jeremy? had some time to think about it. Maybe we can talk about Jeremy now. Guess that's a no. Apparently so. All right, Danny about Marconi. Danny Marconi. <clears throat> Let me in, Let and, I'll me tell in you. and I'll tell you. No, I don't think so. Goodbye. Damn it! All right, Joey, go back in. See if there's anything different. Couldn't talk to her even if. Hmm. Same picture. Oh, I suppose I could look him up online. That's something I could do. Do I have any new emails? No. No results found. Ah, poop. Notes. I have no idea who Gavin. I have no idea. Jeremy and the Highliner. That doesn't help me any. Um. What about calling Sam Durkin? Hi, it's me again. Uh huh. I was just. Nothing yet. You got any? I don't have any. Uh -huh. All right. Nope. Um. Hmm. Joey. All right, Joey. Do you what have anything is it to this say? Time? Legit psychic or not? Says the. What's wrong? If you. That's all for now. Yeah. Locked. Sorry. About Danny. What? Let me in and. I all right, so I need to figure out something with uh, Danny Marco. I got something to say. 
Yes. What? I know. Joints, I guess. All right. Sure. What about the mailbox? Well, I can't get it. Nope. Trash can? I am not picking through random trash. Uh, at least not again. All right. Uh, Seagram's again? Maybe they have some ginger ale for me? Can you say anything? Tell me anything? Hi again. Hello. Ah, oh, Danny Marconi, that's right. Do you have a right. patient here named Danny Marconi? Yes, we do. Are you a relative? No, I'm just hoping to ask him some questions. Oh, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but he passed away earlier this afternoon. Oh. I see. It was peaceful. He just went quietly in his sleep. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, good for him. What do we come here for anyway? To find on, out more blow. about um, Danny sorry Marconi. To bother you. So, do you want to talk about it? Talk about it, Joey. It's ancient history. There's nothing to say. Yes, there is. Let's just get a move on. Nope. No. Not answered my question. Let's go home. We gotta we gotta talk this out, Joey. Joey. What is it this time? Tell me about Danny. Alright, let's get out of here. After damn it. Nope. That's all for Yeah. Alright. I guess we go back and talk and to Lisa and tell her that he's dead. Oh, Lisa. That is probably why she has the picture out. Danny Mark. About Danny Mark. He died today. I know he died this afternoon. And? And I wanted to talk to you about him. Yesterday, you threatened me. Today, you want to talk about my grandfather. Oh, wait. Grandfather? He was your grandfather? Grandfather. I can't believe it. Well, um mutual we friend. We have a mutual friend. Really? And who might that be? It's complicated. Uh -huh. I ask you again. How do you know my grandfather? Uh, Joey? A little help here. <sighs> Just tell her this. Um he had slicked back hair and a pencil mustache? He had slicked back hair and a pencil thin mustache. That so did a lot of people back then. <laughs> um uh, fine. Tell her everyone called him Danny Boy and he hated it. What? Just say it. Everyone called him Danny Boy and he hated it. Excuse me? He drank whiskey straight with no ice. He put salt on everything. Mm, Played salt. the clarinet like he was born with it in his hand. He would have sold his soul to play at the supper club. And he was madly, madly in love with a singer named Linda. Madly in love with a singer named Linda. Uh, you missed everything else. <laughs> Linda was my grandmother. She died before I was born. Thank heaven for small favors. Ooh. Seeing you would have broken her heart. Oh. You're for real, aren't you? Yep. You're one of them? 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 No. I'm not falling for that. Damn it. I've been nothing but loyal over the years. You have no reason to test me like this. Look at her. Shaking like a leaf. Just because there was that bit of trouble with the reporter... You mean his murder. I am not responsible for that. I uh, don't know, I think now, you kind of are. If what I suspect is true, you people have looked the other way for years. Why the change of heart? I have no idea what you're talking about, lady. It's personal now. Personal? Since when do you people care about personal? Hey! Look, I'm just a friend of Jeremy's. I want to know what happened, that's all. Whoever Gavin is, he needs to be stopped. I want to believe you. Well, it's then what's the easy problem? enough to just believe me, then. Look, what if I tell you my suspicions and I'm wrong? You think I can just walk away? Yes. So what do you suggest? I'll give you the names of the last two clients I referred to Gavin. That's harmless enough. You look into them. <laughs> maybe. If you find anything, maybe we can talk. Yes. Fine. Give them to me. Here. They're probably dead. Thanks. I will get to the bottom of this. I hope so. But until you do, leave me out of it. Now get out. I've done all I can. I don't think you've done all you can. Is this what you lived for, Danny? Was it worth it? You were a good man, Danny. You deserved a better legacy than this. That's kind of harsh. Maybe we both did. 
So it looks like we've got to track down these two names. Huh? Oh, sure. Who are they? We've got a Tiffany Walters. She lives on Thompson Street, just south of Washington Square. And the other? Jamie Graham. She's a student up at Columbia. Oh, Didn't great. Another student. School there? Yeah, it's been a while. All right, so we've got Tiffany and Jamie, but I think we'll do those in the next episode. See you then, everyone.